You seem like a great fit for this job. What are your salary expectations? Hmm. Ready to talk about the money? Welcome to the interview game by Indeed, where we show you how and how not to answer interview questions. There's an effective and less effective way to answer questions about salary during an interview. Say hello to Sam, Keenan, and Amy, who are interviewing today for a software engineering job. The candidate with the best answers will move forward in our interview process. I'll be picking the best answers with a little help from my crisp scorecard. That's right. Your answers should be crisp, confident, realistic for your lifestyle needs, informed by research, short, and positive. Candidates, ready to do this? Yeah! Yes. We're going to start today with Sam. What are your salary expectations? Well, I know that the national average for a software engineer is about 130 grand. That's more than I make now. But this is a harder job. So 130,000 makes sense to me. Sam, you live in a pretty expensive place. Is that number aligned with the local cost of living? Average local salary? I'm just curious. That's a great question. I honestly don't know. Sam had definitely done her research and knew what the national average was, but you should always give a range. And not that it's any of my business, but if you don't have a budget, how will you know what you need to earn? Thank you, Sam. And hello to you, Keenan. Wow, uh, so is there a salary range that you could share with me? Absolutely. Depending on a few factors, it's currently set between $110,000 and $147,000. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, wow, 140 or above would be fine. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Keenan asked for the salary range. That's a great technique. But he clearly didn't expect this question and he was pretty flustered. You will be asked about your salary expectations, so be ready. It's time for Amy. Hello. Hey, Drew. So I would expect my salary to be in the range of $140,000 to $160,000. That range aligns with both our family's personal budget and my own goals. It's in sync with what other organizations pay software engineers, and it reflects the fact that I have three years of experience. Crispy. Very crispy. Amy gave the best response. My only quip would be for her to consider asking for the salary range, just like Keenan did. It's always a good strategy. Amy clearly expected this question. Crisp, crisp, crisp! And that's the end of round one. Looking at these scorecards. Okay, so Amy is in the lead. This next and final round is going to be decisive. Money, money, money! Not necessary. The Indeed mobile app is free. Download today. Thanks for sharing your salary expectations. I want to be transparent. What you shared is above the range for new hires. We like to reserve the upper end of the salary band for current employees. Sam, should we keep talking? Definitely. And I appreciate your transparency. If we both really start to feel like there's a potential fit here, then perhaps we can discuss other aspects of the offer. Additional benefits, opportunities for growth, job title, or a more robust equity package. Compensation is critical, but I really want to find a job where I can contribute, where I'll be valued, and where I can grow. So let's definitely keep talking. Sam's answer was strategic. It's true, salary is only one part of an offer. It's also true that this question is coming early in the interview process. I like that Sam refocused our conversation on fit. She basically said, let's come back to this when we both know more. Delay can be a smart tactic. Keenan, this role requires four years of experience and you have just one. And a half. Even so, your expectation is above what we'd offer someone with your level of experience. Should we keep talking? I'm going to convince you that I'm worth every penny. My skills definitely justify a salary between 130 and 150. I've been grinding every single day over the past 18 months. So, <laughs> while my compensation expectations might seem a bit bold to you, I'm going to back them up. 
wait until you see the impact I can have for you and the team. I admired Keenan's boldness. And as a hiring manager, I do have some flexibility when it comes to crafting an offer, but this wasn't the time for a hard sell. Hi, Amy. Should we keep talking? So what I shared is above your pay range for a new hire. I'm afraid so. Mm, gotcha. And, and how fixed is this compensation package? Is there room for negotiation? Maybe on benefits, but on salary, I'm afraid the answer is no. Well, thank you for bringing this up early in the interview process. Unfortunately, if the compensation range is fixed and not negotiable, then I don't want to waste either of our time. I do want you to know that I'm genuinely excited about the role and the company, so if other opportunities open up in the future, I'd be excited to revisit this conversation. But as it stands, I don't think we're on the same page about this particular role. I respect that. Thank you, Amy. Great call to ask about the salary negotiating process. And though her answer wasn't the answer I wanted to hear, Amy's response was very crisp. I do appreciate that while she said no to this offer, she left the door open for future opportunities. If I were Amy, I'd be sure to stay in touch with this recruiter. You never know. Amy, best of luck in your search for a role that meets your salary expectations. Thank you. Some interesting updates in this round. Let's take a look. After listening to your responses, the top candidate is Sam! That means Sam moves forward in the interview process. Congratulations. <laughs> Remember, you will be asked about your salary expectations. Have a range in mind. And when you give that answer, make sure that answer is crisp. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, candidates. Did you know that you can now watch the interview game 24 hours a day? All you need to do is like and subscribe.